Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Bookalicious. Today I'm doing a twofer, so, because it's Tag Tuesday and I also wanted to upload my contemporary -a -thon TBR, so I'm doing a twofer today. And as you can tell by my giant score toll, that I'm going to be doing the Pokemon Go book tag. And I have been playing a lot of Pokemon Go recently. I just leveled up to level 23. I'm on the blue team, Team Mystic. If anybody else is on that team, let me know in the comments below. I need my blue fellows to, to be like, woo, because everybody seems to be on the red team. I don't know what that's about, but my Team Mystic people, let me know you're Team Mystic. I, let me know you're out there. Let me know you exist. <laughs> so... Yeah, I thought it would be really fun to do the Pokemon Go book tag because I've been playing Pokemon Go like nonstop recently. And I should have prepared a little better, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I didn't prepare. I didn't grab any books. I'll just talk about the books that I like and hopefully you know what I'm talking about. And I'm talking real fast, so <laughs> I should slow it down. But story behind Giant Squirtle here, my husband won it for me when we were dating at Cedar Point. And I love him. I love my Squirtle and I love my husband, so that's great. <laughs> But I was, I was like, I, I ended up picking Squirtle because they didn't have Bulbasaur, but I think Bulbasaur is probably my favorite starter, but besides the point. Uh, here are the questions. Number one, starter Pokemon, what book started your love of reading? Now, this depends how far back I want to go, because in elementary school, I loved the, the Junie B. Jones. I liked, there was like a little like manga book or graphic novel called baby mouse i really liked that and i loved and have every captain underpants probably captain underpants let's be real here captain underpants was everything for me i loved captain underpants growing up i've read every single one a couple times because it's great who doesn't love the flip ramas you can't not love it you can't not love captain underpants it's great i'll probably continue reading it until i'm 85 because I'll probably be dead after that, but <laughs> no, I'll probably read it to the grave. Love me some good old Captain Underpants. I actually watched the movie when it came out because your girl still loves Captain Underpants. So I'd say that probably started my love of reading. And I did like, oh, what was it called? Was Judy and Beavis Jones the one with Ramona and Beezus or was that the other? I don't remember what that was, but the one with Ramona and Beezus. I liked that too. And I liked... I'll just go with those. Those were like my mains. And then like what really got me going into reading, I'd say, is The Outsiders by S.E. Henton. I've mentioned that a few times on here, but I'm going to mention it some more. Um, question two, Pikachu, an iconic classic you'll always love. The Outsiders by S.E. Henton. We'll go with that again. That book just does me right. Number three, a Zubat. Zubat is the... You'll know what I'm talking about if you play Pokemon Go. If not, just look them up. Zubat, a book you lost interest in because it's everywhere. For me, that was um, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I never read it. It was just too overdone for me. I already knew it happened because it was talked about so, so much when it came out that it was just kind of ruined for me anyway. So, yeah, I'll say The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I'll probably, I might end up reading it eventually, but probably not, to be honest. It's just never really been my kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. Especially since I already know what happens, you know? It's kind of like, it's it's ruined for me. Number four, Ditto. A book that reminds you of countless others, but you love anyway. One of my missions on Pokemon Go right now is to catch a Ditto. Anyway, a book that reminds me of countless others, but I love it anyway. That's a hard question. I don't know. I honestly, I don't think I have anything for this. I honestly can't think of something that reminds me of other books that I love anyway. Because, like, I guess a lot of, like, contemporary romances are like that. Like, they're all kind of, like, similar in a sense. Um, like, the YA rom-com type stuff, they're, they, they tend to be fairly similar, so maybe some of those. But other than that, I can't really think of anything for that one. Number five, Snorlax. A book or series that you have yet to start because of its sheer size. Ooh. Well, I'm working on collecting all of the books for the Princess Diaries. 
Um, I have the first three. I need to get the rest. And that's like another one. I really want to read the, the, my life as a white trash zombie by, oh, I can't remember her name. Is it Diana Rowland? Yeah, I think it's, no, it's not. I know it's something like that. Let me look it up. I could look it up real quick. Because I have Goodreads right here. I'll be shook if I actually got her name right. My life as a white. How is it not popping up yet? Yeah, it is Diana Rowland. I was right. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I really, really want to read that series, but I haven't picked up any of the books yet. There's quite a few series that I would love to read, but I just haven't got around to, especially because I'm not one for series, and I have to buy all the books for the series, especially, like, longer ones. I could maybe try the Cassandra Clare books, because my husband has City of Glass, or City of Bones, that one, that series, and I really want to read um, the, the Shadows series by her. I don't know what they're called. Forgive me. Forgive my ignorance. But like the city of Bo the motor mortal instrument series. But this is my husband's copy of the first book. See, it looks beautiful on the front, right? You can't even tell that it's destroyed. <laughs> well, it's not destroyed, but it's very, very dirty. He takes these books to the field and they get like really gross. But he needs something to do in the field, so he usually takes these to work and stuff, and they get really dirty. And I just like don't like touching them because they're dirty. Especially his, he has, I think it's called like Fallen Angel or something. One other Cassandra Clare novel. He has one other one, and that one is like, that one's beat up. So I would love to get my own. Well, I like that set. set. I'll, I'll probably read that set. That set he's been taking really good care of. But I do want to read quite a few different series. Number six, Jengar, a book that kept you up all night. I'd say One True Loves by um, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I didn't read it in, I read it like in one day. I remember I sat down and I started reading it and it was just so emotional and so intense. I didn't want to put it down. So I just continued to read it until my husband got home from work and he got home from work very, very late that night. It was like 11 o'clock and he just comes home to me as a puddle of tears. Like that book Ooh, and it, it screwed with my mind for like nights on end. So I'd say that one because it kept me up for nights on end. It really messed me up. <laughs> um, number seven, Nido King and Nido Queen, your favorite bookish OTP, Eleanor and Park. I know that's like silly, but I really, really loved them together. Their relationship just like it was a beautiful thing because she really needed somebody and he was so good to her. Maybe not, he was good to her, you know, like she was picked on so much and everything. And I really, I, I really liked their relationship. He made her like feel better. You know what I mean? She had a rough life. <laughs> um, number eight, Rabbit Ash, a fire hot, fast paced read. Ooh, a fire hot, fast paced read. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll go with um, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Love that book. I cannot sing that praise enough. It is so, so, so good. And it was so fast paced. It was like, oh my God, it kept me on the edge of my seat till the very, very end. So good. Cannot recommend more. That book, definitely. Uh, number nine, Evie, a series you'll never get tired of seeing spinoffs from. Oh, I don't have an answer for that because I don't really read series. Especially, I've, I've never really read much series and I don't know any spinoffs. The only series I've read is Captain Underpants and this spinoff series of Super Diaper Baby. But <laughs> I don't, I don't, and they have a dog one now too. I think it's called like, I don't remember what it's called, but I don't know. Honestly, I've got nothing for that one. Number 10, Magikarp, a book or series that was surprisingly awesome. I'm trying to think of something that really shook my world up. Well, I'd say Leanne Moriarty's Big Little Lies because I didn't expect to like that nearly as much as I did. I was so shocked by how much I loved that book. I mean, Peter Mon, Peter Mon, Peter likes books. 
he sang its praises a ton on YouTube and he like, just talked about it on booktube nonstop. And I was like, all right, you know what? I got to pick this up. I got to know what that's about. And so I picked it up and I didn't put it down. I loved it. And it's probably, it's one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite books probably ever. And definitely one of my favorites that I read this year. Super great book. Definitely surprised me. I had no idea that it was going to be nearly as good as it was. Um, number 11, Legendary Pokemon, an overhyped series you're still excited to read. Overhyped series. Well, I could say the, the Laura Jean one that I just mentioned in my previous video. The uh, To all the boys I love before. I have it right here because I just filmed this. But uh, I'm super insanely excited to read this. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's singing its praises a million times. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's so good. That movie is so good. So I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'd say that. Number 12, A Mew and a Mewtwo, a collector's edition you wish you owned. I don't really have anything for that. I don't really know um, of a good collector's edition that I would like to own. These, we, I think this already is the collector's edition of the Cassandra Clare series. But see, I read a lot of standalones. So there's not really a collector's edition of the standalones, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Oh, I do like the um, collector's editions of the books at Barnes and Nobles, those nice, big, beautiful ones. So maybe some more of those would be nice to have. Um, Pokey Egg, a debut novel you're very excited for. And that I'm going to have to say, What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I cannot wait to read that book and get my hands on it. It's still not out yet. Oh, wait, is that a debut? They both have written other books, but it's their first book together. So can it count? I'm going to count it because I can't think of any other debuts that I'm like super, super excited for. So I'm going to count that. So I'm going to count that. I'm super excited to read that. Um, Because that's their first work together. So I'm like, that counts as a debut. The debut of them. <laughs> uh, lure module. Um, my Our friend, he calls it a lure. So we've just been like, put out a lure. <laughs> but uh, an auto by author, an audio by author, auto by author. I don't know what that means. Is that like an audio book? Because I don't read audio books. I honestly don't know what that means. An auto, an auto by author. Oh, like an, why do they got to write it like that? <laughs> Couldn't you put and automatically buy author, like somebody you would automatically buy their books from. And for me, that'll definitely be Leanne Moriarty, Riley Sager, Ellen Hopkins, automatically. These are like my top three, automatically picking up your books. I see it's out, I'm like, mm, mine. I, I've done it with Becky Albertalli. I like all of what she's written so far. I haven't finished reading all of Julie Murphy's books yet, but I love her novels as well. There's a lot of people that I'm just like, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess there's a lot. Uh, 15, Servers Down, a book release you've been waiting on forever. And that's probably going to be What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli. And a, I think it's called Nine Perfect Strangers or something by Leanne Moriarty. That's supposed to come out, I think, next month. And I'm super pumped for that as well. I love Leanne Moriarty. I've only read two of her books. And I'm working on a third one this month, but I, I do really enjoy some good Leah Moriarty. So, yeah, that is all the questions for the Pokemon Go book tag. Um, let me know if you guys play Pokemon Go and how you feel about Pokemon Go and um, what team you're on in Pokemon Go, like I said earlier. So, yeah, let me know about your feelings towards Pokemon Go and the books that I've mentioned in this video. And if you've done this tag, uh, leave it down below. I don't think I'm going to tag anybody unless somebody... I tag whoever wants to do this video. And if you guys haven't done it yet and you want to do it, do it. I, I do want to try to tag more different people because I'm always tagging the same ones. But I'm trying not to tag bigger YouTubers because either they're very likely to have done the tag already or like they won't see it because I'm such a small channel because I just started. So I'm trying to think of somebody who's fairly small like I am who would 
maybe want to do this that I have not tagged before. I could tag Rachel Marie. I don't think I've tagged her before, and I watch a lot of her videos. So I could tag Rachel Marie. If you play Pokemon Go, do this video. Why not? I could tag... Hmm. Oh, does, is Naya... I don't know if Naya's a, a bigger channel or not, but Naya Reads and Smiles. I have been loving her videos lately. She is the cutest thing. I swear, love her. I'll shout... I'll, I'll tag her, too. And let's see... Let's tag one more. I think three is always a good number. But I'm trying to find people that I've not tagged or... Oops! I mean, I clicked on Ariel Bassett's channel. I do love her. Um, I think I'll just go with those two because everybody else I've pretty much... Oh, I haven't shouted... I haven't... Um, I'll pick Bookish Drama. I don't know if Bookish Drama um, does Pokemon Go or anything, but I'll shout him out. I'll put him out. Tag him, too. Can't talk. I'll tag him as well. I think those will be the three that I tag. I've never tagged them before, and I want to give some recognition to the people that I can, even though nobody watches these videos, but it's all right. I'm filming for fun. So so uh, let me know what you guys, what else you want to see on my channel as well. Like, keep that, that conversation busy in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!